and please like my dad channel and subscribe and hit that subscribe button and and hit that bell good morning good evening good afternoon this is Phoenix 198720 here to bring you my latest episode on my let's talk about series and today we're gonna be talking about Mario Kart the new one that has been leaked all over for the Nintendo Switch and a lot of people are uh, shaking their heads and be like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is selling like hotcakes still why would Nintendo do that why would Nintendo compete because technically we haven't got a new Mario Kart since 2014 when Mario Kart 8 originally came out for the Wii U now saying that 8 Deluxe was awesome you had all the DLC but they didn't really do anything much more to that except for I add a little bit of VR to it and I add some lab coat, lab bow to it. But that's besides the point. Now, these guys that are leaking this information are high end that do work with Nintendo. And they're saying that the Mario Kart game that's coming, that could be announced within a few months, has a huge twist to it. Now, I've heard people, I've read, uh, Comments going through skimming on all these articles about the America. A lot of people would say, What about F Zero? What about if Mario Kart is no longer Mario Kart and they make it Nintendo Kart or Mario Kart Nintendo Kart? And what I'm saying that is you incorporate every single Nintendo character, like for example, put the whole F Zero team in that game with their carts, with tracks from them, Mario Kart, tracks from them, Zelda, tracks from them, Donkey Ball, Donkey Kong's in it anyway. What you get my drift, you incorporate every, every Nintendo character in their franchise in this game, like they did with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and you make this one the best racing game there is for Nintendo Switch, dealing with the Mario Kart stuff, it will sell even more. It will push systems out the door. And that's what Nintendo wants. Not only do they want to have high sales in software, they go, they got a goal in mind that they want to get with their consoles, with the Nintendo Switch. So let's... Instead of making a 2-3 gigabyte game like the other one was, or 5.5, let's go to 20 gigs with this game. Let's make this game top notch. Let's incorporate it as much. Make this the craziest Mario Kart game there is. And at the same time, throw a little bit of uh, Mario Maker in there as well. Create those crazy tracks. Play online. Share your crazy tracks online with people. Now, how great would that? Next Mario Kart game has every Nintendo character in their franchise represented in this game how about we throw a little bit of mario maker in this game by designing your own tracks with awesome online that they have right now that's be a glove inside of a glove inside of a glove they think that would be gold i'm not even gonna pussyfoot around that one that would be gold and that would be awesome add the Mar Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Field, Mario Kart Racing, and all that, and then throw in some other tracks that are famous, like some Formula F1 tracks, you know what I mean? You got Dev Zeros in there, you got Formula, you got Mario Kart, let's make this crazy! Now, what do you guys thought of that? Should Nintendo do this right? Should Nintendo hold off and wait and release this game for their next console that's coming out in 2024? I don't know. I'm pumped. If they announce it, it's guaranteed I will pre be, be pre-ordered and buying that game so quickly. And not going to hurt my feelings at all. But what are your guys' thoughts? Drop them down in the comments. Let's go back and forth with it. And let's see. Until further, until later on, until further ado, this is Phoenix 198720 saying I hope you guys have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Peace.